Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting new update in Adobe After Effects, Shadow Catchers. This update lets you create more realistic composites by accurately simulating shadows cast by 3D objects onto a 2D background. Let's break down the step-by-step -step process of using shadow catchers in your projects. Setting up your composition. First things first, add a video or an image to your timeline. This will act as the background for your composition. Make sure it's positioned correctly to serve as your 2D layer. Next, add a 3D model that you want to cast a shadow. This could be anything from a simple shape to a detailed object. Place it in your composition where you want the shadow to appear. Now, add an environment light. This will be the light source for the shadow cast by your 3D model. Adjust its position to get the desired shadow direction and intensity. Add a solid layer to your composition and convert it into a 3D layer. Use the X rotation property under Transform to rotate and align it to the surface where you want the shadow to be cast. Place the solid layer underneath your 3D model. This will make it act as a shadow catcher layer. Ensure that your 3D model has the cast shadows option enabled. Expand the properties of the 3D solid layer. Under Material Options, toggle the Accept Shadows option to Only. This makes the layer itself invisible while still capturing the shadows cast by the 3D objects above it. If you want to adjust how the Shadow Catcher layer reacts to the light, modify the properties under Material Options. You can also change the shadow color from black to give your shadows a more natural or creative hue. And there you have it! With these steps, you can now use shadow catchers in After Effects to create stunning and realistic composites. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.